All right, um, hello. As you may see, this is, uh, you see my character here. I was rooting around in the game's files. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this in a bit. They actually programmed a skeletal race known as the Undead. And they even have their own description, they have their own skills. Actually, if, I'm, if I remember right, they have a resistance to all forms of martial damage, except for uh, crushing. They have a 5% weakness to crushing damage. By the way, I don't see a difference with face. I think it's changing the upper jump. <coughs> so, we're gonna test this character out. And then I'm going to, oh, they only have one type of hair. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you how to actually get unlock this race, basically, at random. Of course. <laughs> there is running. Alright, there we go. Control shift U. So they start with a spear, a summoned spider thing. They have a 5% crushing resistance, 5% weakness even, 5% slashing, piercing, and ice resistance. And that dog is fucking stupid. <laughs> so this is the summoner class. For whatever reason, it was never really implemented, I guess? Like, all the data is there, as you're going to see when I show you how to unlock this class. But... They... I don't know what they fucked up. But they fucked something up because they can't be used unless you screw with the game's files. So, yeah. I haven't actually checked the other stats, so I don't know if they're lower or higher. Wait, don't these things start with higher charm magic? Okay. Yes, they start with 5 spear, 5 charm. Hmm. So, yeah. Oh, and. <coughs> Also, another fun fact is, uh, speaking of skeletons, they're, they also plan to basically make a skeleton key. Well, it was a lockpick. That was a key you could reuse infinitely, but uh, apparently they didn't have enough time to employ it. So that might also be knocking around the game's files. Anyway, let's get into the game. It's uh, game files themselves and show you how to do it. Alrighty then, so. Once you. Alright. Step one, go to your computer, select program files, 86, oh well, this is on Windows 8.1 for future reference, just in case that it might be a bit different, basically. Scroll down till you find Steam, where is it, Steam Apps, Common, and then you'll find all of your games, go to Fate the Cursed King, where was it? Is it under players? Yes, players, and then go to en-us, and then you'll find this. Keep in mind that these are data files. <coughs> I have, if you open them, if you select them to open with, uh, with notepad, then you'll be able to see this. Give me a second, let me full screen this bitch, and then let me bring that over here. So, this is all the races. As you can see, human mage class. Oh, let me click in. The uh, hunters are shadow elves. The warrior is the orc, well, half orc. The, the cogger is the guardian class, surprisingly. And their ID is golem, for some reason. And then, you see something out of place. Oh wait, I'm sorry I was wrong! Then you go to the imp, and then you go to this race. So, actually, uh, let me close that. Let me close that. And let me minimize bound again. Yeah, piss off, I don't care. Where is it? There it is. I actually made it back up, just in case I screw something over. So, this is what the race file looks like when you... When you, uh, like, when you go to it first. 
one. As you can see, the developers or someone screwed up and put the number symbol in front of everything. That is why it can't be used. So, okay, you see this line? Delete all of the uh, number symbols from the bottom. Make sure not to delete this, by the way. For the love of fuck, don't delete this. Delete all the number symbols up to this point. Do not delete the number behind, uh, behind this, behind the summoner class thing. Just delete the uh, number symbols. Or hashtags, if you prefer to call it that. And uh, once all of the hashtags, I guess, are deleted, making damn well sure that you didn't delete any of the other things, like say one of these triangle things, I don't remember what they're called right now, and made sure not to delete this line, and made sure not to delete this, then you should, uh, all you have to do is, well I'm not going to, since this is my backup, just in case, all you should have to do is select save, and then all you'll have to do is load up Fate the Cursed King, and the race, uh, uh, the skeletons will be a playable race, so... I hope this video may have helped you to help increase your uh, playing experience, like, because now you can play as a separate race, so if I find anything of the uh, skeleton key, whether it was ever added as well, but never implemented, although I think it was just in the design stage, then uh, I'll try to, I'll try to see if I can do a similar thing. For now, goodbye.